Hi, this morning we're going to be working on my Ficus elastica. Uh, it's commonly known as a rubber tree or rubber plant. Uh, it gets that name because if you peel the bark off you get this white milky sap that they used to use for making rubber and uh, it's a it's a large leaf plant uh, it's not you know it doesn't have little tiny leaves like a typical bonsai but it has a lot of charm and uh, so let's go in and have a look at the tree and I'll explain what we're gonna do today on it so this tree I've had for about 20 years now it started off as a plant in my wife's house before we got married and uh, of course I got a hold of it and I'm turning it into a bonsai tree. So, one of the things I've done, I've got the root base sorted out pretty well on it. I've been kind of growing the trunk thicker. So you can see way in here, I've got some pretty drastic pruning cuts where I've cut the trunk down. It was a fairly large tree originally. and. I've been growing this leader way up here in order to help heal these scars and get a transition from the thicker trunk to our top trunk. So today we're going to prune that. Um, hi girls. Uh, one of the hardest things in bonsai is being patient. So I've been letting the leader grow and it's getting quite big and you can see as it grows the leaf size goes from if we take this leaf here which is pretty tiny it grows up to a leaf size here which is enormous. So these shoots as you let them grow the leaf size gets larger and larger. So if we look at, you know, any of the branches, the longer it grows, the leaf size just keeps getting larger. And this is probably the maximum it would ever get. So um, there's a general rule in bonsai. You let all new growth grow till you have six to eight pairs of leaves, and then you cut it back to the first set of leaves. So I've left this grow, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and it's starting to grow its 15th leaf. So it's grown long enough. I, uh, the more you let one leader grow, it starts taking energy away from the other parts of the tree. So all your energy goes into the leader. So it's time to cut it back, and then we'll try and equalize some of this energy. Uh, the goal for this tree is to form a canopy on top, a tropical tree canopy, our typical umbrella style or broom style. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up the moss in the root base, get the moss off the roots and do a bit of weeding and just clean that up. So again, I'm uh, just going to go in with the scissors and trim the moss down. Okay, I've got the uh, moss cleaned up and uh, you can see the lip of the pot now, which is good <laughs> because bonsai is a tree in a pot, so the pot has equal importance as the tree. Um, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to start pruning. Um, before we do that, I'll just talk about big leaf bonsai. Uh, there is a blog or a website on the internet. Uh, if you type in large leaf bonsai or big leaf bonsai, I think you'll find it. It's kind of interesting. Um, and one thing I'm going to as I work on these trees, I'm going to start playlists for each tree. So uh, as uh, the trees progress, you'll be able to follow the progression on the playlists for each specific tree. Uh, I don't sell any of my trees. This is just a hobby for me. So I'm hoping 
to live many years and uh, you'll see these trees grow from a humble beginnings to uh, really nice bonsai I hope so yeah if you subscribe you can uh, get updates on the trees and uh, that as time goes on um, okay so let's start pruning just one note um, old training boxes from bonsai trees apparently make uh, good nesting boxes because I just got three eggs out of one and there's a chicken sitting in the old bonsai box right now. Hello. Thank you for the eggs. <laughs> yeah. Bye. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to prune the main leader down. So it's grown you know, really nicely. Um, so we've got to find a pruning point. So if we look at the if we look at the trunk line, we're coming up, it kind of tilts back a bit, so we do have a branch here that uh, I think this will be like our forward trunk, and this is going to be more of a back trunk. So I think what we want to do is prune to a backward facing leaf, so in future this trunk will fan outwards from the trunk, um, from the main trunk. So, uh, we can start high. So, there's definitely, there's a backward facing leaf right here, but it's a little high up. So, there's another one back here. Let me see, come around the back here. Uh, there's one here that's at a good height. So, I think we'll prune it back to there. Sorry. Yeah, so right here, we're going to prune it back to here. So let's do that now. Right here. We're going to leave a little extra, and here we go. It's gone timber. Okay, let's go back to the front. There's our cutting. And there we go. That's the main trunk pruned down. Now, the next step is we're going to look at these other branches. Now generally you, you want to grow, as I said, six to eight pairs of leaves before you do any pruning. So these have enough now. We're going to prune them back too. So these, these are all going to be trunks. Um, this tree, I want to grow it, you know, one big main trunk and then a multitude of uh, trunks coming up and then branches coming off the main trunks to form our canopy. So, when we're pruning these trunks, we don't want them, uh, we don't want them going straight up. We want them to fan out from the main trunk. So we're going to prune to an outward facing leaf or bud in, and grow the canopy sort of on a 45 degree angle, somewhere around there. So we'll start with this one and we'll prune it off to an outward facing leaf like so. Uh, this one, it's got some branching here already. Um, so we're going to try and keep that branching. So we're going to prune it back to the first set of two leaves, for now anyway. And this one has an outward facing leaf here, so we'll just prune the tip off. And over here we have, let me get in there, hold on. We have a small branch at the back here. We've got quite a few branches on this trunk here, which is good. Uh, so I think we're just going to prune the tip off of it. So we're going to, pr again, prune to an outward facing bud, like that. 
And let's go in and look at the tree now. Um, some of these leaves, some of the older leaves, like this one for instance, that was the original leaf I pruned this branch to. And so we, it sprouted a new trunk coming up here. So we can remove that older leaf. It's done its job. And we can prune this little one in here off. Here's another one we can get rid of. And one in here. And what this does, it cleans up the canopy and gets a little more light. Because, you know, we can, might eventually get branches coming off these multi trunks. And the only way they'll get branches is if they're getting light. So that's the reason we're doing that. Uh, here's another old leaf back here we can get rid of. It's, you know, it's done its job. It's getting pretty old and ragged looking. And let's just spin the tree around here and have a look. Um, so, see, leaves like this, they're blocking out a lot of uh, stuff. We can't really remove that one, but we can remove this one. And we'll just turn it around again. The back here. Yeah, that's probably about all we can do today. Yeah, so th there we go. Um, so we've got a just kind of a short squat trunk and we're starting to form our canopy now. Uh, this tree was uh, repotted in winter of this year. Uh, it's the first time it ever went in a shallow pot. It's taken me a lot of years to get the roots even uh, close to being shallow and spread out in a radial pattern. So the next step of this tree will be repotting it again and doing further root pruning. And hopefully by then the canopy will be looking a little fuller. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today on this tree. It's, uh, you know, I, I think it'll uh, develop nicely. Uh, the ficus elastica, it, it's kind of uh, it's kind of a nice tree. It gets nice bark on it. If you have a look at the bark, it gets you know maybe a little rougher bark than some of the other ficuses. And as the leaves come out, you get the sheath on the leaf is a nice red color, and the leaves are a nice color, and the the stems of the leaf are a nice reddish color. So it's a uh, Kind of an interesting tree. It'll make a good bonsai. And they do get aerial roots, so we might get some of those in future, we're hoping. And uh, that's it. So Nigel Saunders for KW Bonsai. We'll see you next time.